हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द वेरी फर्स्ट टॉपिक फाइनाइट स्टेट मशीन नाउ व्हेन वी टॉक ऑफ फाइनाइट स्टेट मशीन व्हाट आई वी गोइंग टू डिस्कस ओवर हियर इज अ ब्रीफ ओवरव्यू और द डिस्कशन ऑफ व्हाट इज अ एफएसएम नाउ when it comes to finite state machine we have to understand the first and foremost thing that we are talking of some kind of machine and the machine is going to maintain a state and if you understand the state in that machine is called as a finite state so let me just write down the name of the topic and we'll go into the details of it so it is called as finite state machine f s m now as i told you it is going to be a machine which is going to be finite now what i do exactly mean by finite the machine is going to work with a certain number of states what is states if you refer to the previous video when i gave you an example of the lift if it is a seven story building the lift can either halt from ground floor to any of the floors up to floor number 7 so it will be basically going through a maximum of 8 halls that's exactly the machine is going to have in all over here a maximum of 8 states so do you all agree that 8 is a finite number yes and the machine is going to halt in any one of these 8 states if by chance if it halts in any of the other state than this 8 then that state will be called as an erroneous state if i take into consideration all these factors i can say that the total number of the states that the machine can land is going to be eight valid states and there will be one or more states which i overall abbreviated as error states so i call this as erroneous states so effectively my machine is going to land in a maximum of nine states so is nine a finite number yes and therefore the machine is called as a finite state machine so when i come to finite state machine it is a machine which is going to behave in a finite manner to produce some kind of output now let's jump on to the definition of the finite state machine so when i talk of finite state machine how we define it let's start so my finite state machine i say it consists of finite set of states now this finite set of states are called as s so a finite state machine is going to consist of finite set of states we saw there are going to be a finite set of states and that's exactly what we are encountering in the definition so it is a machine which consist of finite set of states now these states are going to change because we saw that the lift can either land on ground floor first floor second floor eighth floor or an erroneous state so this machine can either land in all this in or erroneous state but when the machine will be landing in one of the states when it receives some input from the user who is coming inside the lift so let's say a person enters the lift and presses some number the lift will take that person to that particular number so the next most important thing that we have over here or that we want over here is called as the input state so therefore i go ahead completing the definition of the finite state machine so fsm it consists of finite set of states s which which alter on receiving the input set so which alters on receiving the input set which will be called as i now when it receives some kind of input state what is the action that the lift is going to perform the lift will be taking a person from first place to another or rather i will say it will be taking him from source to destination now what for will a person go to destination to give some output 
so machine is also going to give some output and that output will be taking the user from source to the destination so let's go ahead and complete the definition again so it consists of finite set of states s which alter on receiving the input set i to produce the output set o so i say to produce the output set o so that's how the definition of finite state machine goes it says it consists of finite set of states s which receive some input set i to produce some output set o to the details of the fsm it basically consists of two important functions the first function is called as the state function and the second function is called as the machine function each of them has their importance when it comes to the finite state machine so let me write it so the first function it says it consists of two functions first one is called as a state function now state function in short it is written as stf and the next one which we have we call it as a machine function and the next one which we have is called as a machine function machine function is not abbreviated as mf it is called as maf so finite state machine consists of two things a state function and a machine function now let's go ahead and understand what exactly a state function means so when i talk of a state function it works as per a particular formula and that formula is given a state s and an input set i what is going to be the next state given a state s and an input set i what is going to be the next state for example if i explain it again with the help of the lift i say given a state s that is the lift is currently assuming standing on floor number 1 so that is my current state so the state is floor 1 the user comes inside the lift and gives a input to go to floor number 5 so what he is going to press onto the lift is going to be five number on the lift so that will be the input to the lift and what will be the output of that particular thing the user or the lift will be transferred to floor number 5 so this machine is going to work as per the state function which i just stated given a state s and an input set i what is the next state so what is my next state going to be from state number 2 or from floor number 2 we are going to floor number 5 so now the lift has landed into floor number 5 simple enough oh okay. yes so that's what is my state function the next function which we have is called as the machine function so the machine function says given a state and an input what is the output okay now i'm very sure you all might be a bit confused because right now when i talked of the state function it was saying given a state and an input state what is the next state and the machine function is always saying the same thing given a state and an input what is the output now let us try to understand this thing from other angle when i say machine function is going to give me some kind of output that output is going to be whether the user was transferred from source to destination or not so if i say the user entered on floor number 2 and the user exited on floor number 5 so has the user successfully been transferred from floor 2 to floor 5 yes or no of course yes because we are assuming a normal working scenario so if a user is transferred from one floor to the another and if that operation is successful we say that the machine was giving a proper output that's exactly what my machine function is going to do it is going to say given a state and an input symbol what is the output was the user transferred to a floor successfully or he wasn't of course if he wasn't that means the lift has gone into some kind of erroneous states now all this was just a explanation which was briefly giving me an idea how the finite state machine is going to work but frankly speaking this was a very rigid example to explain you the details of it what we are going to study through the problems will actually make each and everything more clear to you
okay so without wasting any time i just abbreviate one second what i just said when i talk of finite state machine it consists of finite set of states s which alter on receiving the input set i to produce the output set o it consists of two functions the first function is called as the state function which says given a state and an input symbol what is the next state and the machine function says given a state and an input what is the output so having all this knowledge in mind now we can go to solving the type 1 problems in this particular category thank you let's meet in the next video